I was just living normal teenage life. And then we knew something was wrong because I wasn't eating because the, th the tumor had pushed my throat to the side. They did some scans and then the oncologist came in the room. It was a uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma. After we like took it in, we were just focused on being positive and staying with a healthy mindset throughout the whole thing. I was announced a cancer survivor on September 21st, 2018. I wanna go to Valencia for two years and learn like radiography. I'm gonna go to work, hopefully at Arnold Palmer, which is where I was. Then I'll like further my education after working for a little while to become a radiation therapist. My therapist was actually the same age like that I was and she had the she got diagnosed with the same thing and I was like hey I want to do this too you're a great inspiration. I came back with a completely different personality compared to when I was first here and I feel like I'm bonding more with more people than I did before and I chose your book just because I feel like that was the best choice for me. My favorite part is the atmosphere that's in it, the editors, everyone that I meet in it enjoyment of like meeting new people through interviewing them. And I am the editor-in-chief this year of the Literary Arts Magazine where we highlight artwork, Billy Mays. He's uh, the yearbook teacher for journalism. And he's just supported me through everything. Overall, he's like a family member to me pretty much. Mr. Muse, I had him my sophomore year when I came back. He is just such a character. Miss McBee, McGovern Boucher, she's the theater teacher. I love theater now because of her. Life is in fact short, and I didn't realize that before, but now I just look forward to seeing my family and being there with them.